Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of April 29, 2019. Thank you guys for stopping by. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. And don't forget, these are general videos where I hope something will resonate with you. We are going back to the cards this week, but first let's see what comes in for Taurus. Um, there's some scattered energy around you guys. There's also some type of a celebration. Uh, not a week for quick decisions. Matter of fact, Taurus, you're going to have to tap into your bare soul because this is going to be a slow moving week and it's requiring your patience. Um, also, some of you guys are in denial. There's something you're in denial about and you need to really take that journey inward to figure out what that is. On working career, you're working and gaining, you're moving forward nicely. There are new doors open for you. There is exciting news coming in more towards the end of the week, indicating total victory and you guys get what you want. And you're setting yourself up to be led on a new emotional path. So let's take a look. This is for Taurus. This is for your week of April 29th. 2019. Okay, Taurus, we start with that Page of Cups, followed by the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Major Arcana of the Death card, and the Queen of Swords. I'll break this down and pull you three more. What we're looking at here with the Page of Cups, this is an unexpected offer of assistance, but be warned it might come in the form that you're not expecting or it's not going to meet your expectations. Okay? Eight of Swords. No one's holding you back at this time but you. This is the card of self-imposed restrictions. Four of Pentacles shows wise financial decisions. It shows that you're not where you need to be financially. Uh, you may be struggling a little bit at this time, but you're applying money where it needs to be applied. So wise financial decisions. Two of Cups indicating a happy union. Also going to be very significant for any of my single Taurus out there. Death card. There it is where I spoke of that new emotional path. Death is the end of a negative situation, the end of a negative uh, cycle, a rebirth, a new beginning. And when I say emotional, because you're closing out one section and starting a new one, it can be just that. It can be emotional. Queen of Swords. This is you, Taurus, and this is you maybe getting a little catty with someone or a little sharp tongue with someone this week. Don't see a confrontation. Just watch your temper. Moving forward, this might be why there is the Seven of Swords, there is the Eight of Cups, and there is the Ace of Cups, okay? Seven of Swords, this is someone lying, this is someone cheating, this is someone stealing for you, from you. This is deceit in your immediate circle. This is a warning card for you guys. Next to that, we have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is reflection, looking out on the past, what worked well, what didn't work well. Ace of Cups shows you have another new beginning coming. It is not right now because you're under the new beginning of the death card. This indicates another new beginning coming in the summer. And for my singles out there, this is a new beginning in love. So what you are under the influence of this week, death card endings, new beginnings, closure, new doors opening. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, subscribe. Uh, retweet them and don't forget to check out your daily videos as well as your weekend and I will see you soon. Bye! Hi everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin reminding you to download the Daily Horoscope app by Cheetah Mobile. Take a look and look for that purple and yellow icon there. It is an app with your daily horoscopes, so much more, lots of articles, lots of information. You'll also find my videos there as well. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com and have a wonderful day. Bye.